minibox.com.au. We're going to show you guys today how we're going to build our uh, M350 Mini ITX system. We're going to be using a Zotac GeForce 9300. Okay. As you can see here, this is quite a nice little Mini ITX system, 775. We've got VGA, DVI, USB, eSATA, Ethernet, HDMI, PS2. Okay, so the um, CPU we're going to be using is E5400 from Intel. Okay, first step we do is we take the clip off quite gently. Okay, and we place our CPU into the motherboard. Now bear in mind this can only actually go one way, so be sure to make sure you have your gold tip and also there's a little notch there that you see that on the motherboard as well. So that's the only way this is actually going to fit. So make sure that's in nice and flush. Close the lid and then hook that under, keep that firmly in place. Now next we'll put the uh, CPU fan on. Make sure you get the cables out there. That in. Line up your holes, and then that'll all just clip into place. Okay, and then we just wrap that around, and then we can deal with him later. We'll cable tie that towards the end. Now we use our <coughs> memory modules. We're going to be using two one gig DDR2800 Super Talent memory modules. Note these can only go in one way as well. There's a little notch, so they clip in firmly. Don't be afraid to push them in down tightly. There you go. Okay. Now for this particular motherboard, we have a uh, wireless module that interfaces onto the USB header. So we'll put that in next. Be sure to line that up. Get the screws in. Keep in mind if you ever get stuck or need help, we're always a phone call away, or you can email us at support at platinumsolutions.com.au. Or we've got plenty of documentation, how to guides on the website as well. Okay, now this will fit into the USB header on the board. Note that that can only go in one way, one of the pins is closed off. Be sure you get that in the right way. There you go. Okay. Now next we're going to be using the mini box Pico PSU. You can find this on the website as well at minibox.com.au under power supplies. Now, although this is a 24-pin ATX connection and it's only a 20-pin PSU, not to worry, it'll still work. Make sure that's firmly clipped in. Now, uh, this motherboard requires a P4 connector to give it extra power, so we'll be using a, a little P4 cable. And we'll just plug that through, the spare IDE. Okay, now we're not going to be using the floppy drive, so we'll just cable tie that nice and neatly with the rest of the cables. I'll just cut off the excess. Okay, put that aside. Now this is our uh, M350 Mini ITX enclosure. They call this the Swiss Army knife of enclosures due to its um, multiple mounting options. 
So once that slides off, you can pop that up and the lid will just lift up. You've got many mounting options. You can visa mount this, wall mount this, din rail, or you put some feet at the bottom and then just keep it next to your uh, monitor. Okay. So we'll place our, uh, our motherboard in. Make sure it's firm. Get all the holes lining up. Screwing our motherboard. Now the case will come with screws, so this will enable you to screw in the board and close it off. Make sure you've got a magnetic screwdriver, makes life a lot easier, especially if you uh, drop screws. If you're unsure of the um, type of setup you require for your specific application, you can also um, feel free to contact us and our uh, support engineers will be more than happy to assist you in any requirements that you may need or unsure of. See there, that's all nice and flush. We've got all our, all our connections. Now we just close off and make sure the wireless is mounted on firmly in place. 